Hello, everyone. This is Cheryl Abram. Welcome to Person Centered Cyber. As of today, I have about two weeks until I take the CAS Plus exam. So I'm still working on ways to make it easier for me to learn all of this content. So one of the things that I've done, in addition to some of the other stuff, is to give more attention and start to do more as far as uh, creating system boundaries. All right, now let me tell you what I mean by that. When I typically used to think of a system, okay, it would be just a whole bunch of stuff, you know, <laughs> not really knowing what goes where, what's connected to what. I would look at an image like this and be like, okay, what the heck is going on here? Okay, it just seems really complex and really complicated. But I found that it, it's, it is complex. Yes, it is. But it doesn't have to be as complicated as, as I was making it out to be. So here's something, for example, okay, this is a system boundary, a tree, leaves, trunk, and roots, all right? Now, I know that because these are the characteristics of a system boundary. It functions independently from other things, okay? Um, everything within the boundary is trusted. Okay, let's put zero trust aside for a second here, all right? Everything within the boundary is trusted. It's autonomous, and the environment outside of the system provides it with inputs, and it also consumes the outputs of the system, all right? Very easy to get. When I think of a system, think of a tree, or even your, your body, your body, my body is a system, okay? That functions independently from others, right? Everything within my body is trusted, okay? It's autonomous, and the, the environment around it provides inputs, and the things it consumes, the outputs that I provide, right? Same for you. Very easy concept. All right, now look at this right here. This is looking under the hood of a Ford Fiesta. Now this image is akin to what would be in my head when I took the CYSA plus and the security plus, all right? The, so there were questions, of course, y'all remember those questions about servers, subnets, firewalls, DMZ. I would get those questions and I would get no picture in my head or I would get a picture in my head, but I wouldn't know like where it was, you know, what, what's it connected to? How are these things? It's just really frustrating and it's, it's not a good way to learn. Okay. So the image here, just think, pretend like, you know, absolutely nothing about cars. Okay. And this is the first time you've ever looked under the hood of a car. And let me ask you, where where does the engine start and where does it end? Well, if you don't know anything about cars, you don't know, you can't tell. As far as you know, it's a car with a bunch of parts that are connected and they just work. But where are the boundaries, okay? If you knew the answer to that question, then subsequent, subsequent questions would be a lot easier to answer. So just so you're aware, for this vehicle, there are three main parts of the engine system. Now I say this one because other cars and other types of vehicles may have different boundaries around their engine systems. So the point here is knowing where something begins and ends helps me to better position the CAS plus questions in the right way, okay? Which increases the likelihood that I will answer that question correctly. So understanding system boundaries, even at a high level, is useful for this test and, you know, just for my regular everyday, everyday job, all right? So my plan is, once the test begins, to quickly draw a couple systems before I even get started uh, with the exam. All right, that's all I have for you for this one, and I'll see you back here next time.